better placements, high pay packages, diverse working opportunities in new age technology and a seemingly secure future are among the major driving factors for computer science being the topmost choice of engineering aspirants across the spectrum. News 18 spoke to toppers of JE Mains who tell us why they want to take computer science and that too at one of the IITs. We have Malay Kedia and Riddhi Maheshwari with us. Malay is from Ghaziabad while Riddhi is from Bengaluru. So Malay and Riddhi have scored perfect 100 percentiles in the JE mains and now they are preparing for JE advanced which is eligibility criterion for getting into the IITs. So Malay having scored a perfect 100 percentile what is it that you are aiming for next? I am preparing to get selected in IIT Bombay for a CS degree and then I'll go to MIT to pursue research in AI uh, so that I can uh, be a researcher and help our country solve uh, many of its problems with the help of new technology. Now we'll go to Riddhi. Please tell us, Riddhi, what are you planning for? Well, I'm also preparing for JE Advanced next and after completing my BTEC, BTEC degree, I'll mostly pursue MBA from like I am. Uh, yeah, that's what I've decided till now. So why just computer science and not any other core or conventional branch of engineering? Please could you tell us that? Ma, so CS today impacts every sphere of our lives. So uh, our TV, our computers, the internet, everything is impacted by the current uh, computer technology. And recent developments in artificial intelligence and machine learning are just uh, in increasing its importance in the world. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. I think that it's the most uh, exciting of all the fields in engineering and that's why I want to pursue it. Well, CS is an attractive degree uh, because coding is like, you know, it's really interesting, it's logical. And also CS is a better career option. So mostly, uh, mostly everyone prefer that, but it highly depends upon what rank you get in JE Advanced. Riddhi, would you also tell us why would you also, also want uh, CS? the same as Malay and many other toppers? Well, uh, it includes a lot of coding and I like coding. So I thought that it would be better to take CS as a career option. And uh, it has like real good opportunities afterwards also like in job because oh. many uh, big companies hire uh, like CSE students from better IITs. So it's overall a good career option. Riddhi, you also told us about your love for maths. So, is it uh, so? Does having good mathematical skills uh, works well for those wanting to pursue computer science and engineering? Um, because the programs that you make, some of them has like you have to make certain programs which includes logics, and you have to use some maths concepts. So, yeah, mm -hmm. having a good background in maths helps a lot. Okay, so what what are the how are you preparing for JE Advanced? Please, could you tell us that how many hours of study do you put in, since it's tougher than than the mains? I have been preparing for JE Advanced in this uh, since the starting of my journey, and uh, I have not started preparing now. So my preparation pattern remains the same. I attempt a lot of tests. I analyze those tests, discuss those tests with my teachers and work on my weak areas. Uh, and I will recommend the same to uh, all my uh, fellow competitors. Uh, I will also recommend them to uh, put as much as time as they could uh, and uh, not be tired before they achieve their dreams. Well, I'm also doing the preparation pretty much same as Malay. Uh, doing the sheets which are given by coaching, attempting a lot of tests, analyzing those tests, and uh, working on my concepts. Where am uh, where am I wherever am I I am weak, so I am working on those areas. Also, if you could give some tips for your fellow test takers who would be taking the tests later on, I guess the tip would be hard work and consistency only, because without these two, you can't achieve a good run. Okay, my last question to you guys. So, in between all these hours of study, what do you do to relax? Like, I'm sure you must be relaxing in between. So, what do you? What is it that you do? What is it that you know? Uh, burst your stress. So, uh, I like listening to music when I am not doing anything. It helps me relax my mind. I also sometimes watch uh, some movie or some web series if I have time and I have finished mm -hmm. all my work and I am bored. So, 
that's how I relax myself. In between, I go out for walks with my father. Mm -hmm. So all these help me in relaxing. So well, I do pretty much same things. Like, yeah, I love listening to music. I even listen to music while I'm studying sometimes as it helps me relaxing and it uh, helps me concentrate also in my studies. Okay. When I'm like, really stressed, I generally talk to my mom. She helps me a lot in emotionally and uh, so I talk to her a lot. Okay, thank you so much Malay and Riddhi for being with us. Thank you for your time and all the best for your future endeavours and for your next exam. Thank you.